Hey everyone, so today I'm just going to do a quick review of my newest Lego build. Um, and yeah, look, it was a pretty good build. I built the um, Great Pyramid of Giza. Um, I'm not too sure how long it's been out, but yeah, no, look, it was pretty fun to build. Lots of uh, um, you know, different aspects to it. So yeah, look, I'll, um, yeah, I guess now we'll uh, have a look at it and uh, yeah, look, I'll give my, my thoughts and opinions on it. So as you can see here, we have the Great Pyramid of Giza Lego build. So you can see there's a, some, a, a boat. This is a, supposed to be a river, which, is, which it actually does look like it. You can see, um, you know, the trees, a couple, two smaller pyramids. The entrance to the actual pyramid, you know, uh, they've given us another boat. And then they've actually given us a village, which is pretty cool. You know, and, and lots of palm trees, and then in the back you can actually actually see the see the pyramid. Now, I guess for me the downfall of this is that it's only half the pyramid. Which, so, so as you can see there, it's only half the pyramid. It's not actually the whole pyramid, but in the booklet it does say that you can buy a second set, buy a second of these, and or the whole set actually, and combine to make one gigantic pyramid, obviously, given the price that this thing, that this uh, set sits at, that's <laughs> fairly expensive to do. And, oh yeah, and it also does create it and have a um, obelisk. I think it's called obelisk. Anyway. I've actually taken off the pyramid, which is a pretty cool feature. It actually allows you to, to take it off, because um, it's not actually anchored down to anything, which I guess is is good and bad. Um, but first, yeah, so as so you can see, that what they've tried to do here is show us how, how the pyramid could have been potentially built, which is obviously one of the more, I guess, accepted theories the, of dragging the, the rocks up. Um, so it shows this bit here, and then actually show, they have actually tried to incorporate like a couple of cranes for it as well. Um, yeah, so it looks, so it looks pretty cool, you know, obviously the pyramid in, in a disheveled shape, given that this would have been when they were building it. Um, yeah, and then as I said, you know, the, the cover for the pyramid, for the, the pyramid itself, it's an all white blocks, all, you know. And then a gold gold top. Um, but yeah, I guess my biggest gripe when building this was that as I was building it, it actually felt quite flimsy. Like at any given moment, the whole thing could just I guess collapse in on itself. And I found that a lot of the bricks were actually well, not, not all of them I should say, but like some of them at, at certain points struggled to click in like actually click, click into place and I don't know whether or not because of how they actually did this with these with these bits here um, but yeah as I was building it it seemed quite flimsy it, it actually seemed quite flimsy up until this bit right here when it, when it locked itself into place and even then you can see in certain bits it, it looks actually it, it still doesn't look like it's fully clicked into place but I mean, look, overall, I mean, those those down things aside, I would definitely say it's a good good build. Would I go and get another one to complete the pyramid? No, probably not. I think that's a bit silly, a bit too expensive. Um, and then the other thing that it does show, which I thought was pretty cool, was this bit here. see these this that's supposed to be the tomb and these air passages and going out to the sun pretty cool um oops, oops a daisy there we go and one of the other cool things it does come with is two name plates so you have is is, is two name plates so you have this one in hieroglyphs, or this one in English, the Great Pyramid of Giza. 
another cool little feature, I guess. Anyway, look, um, yeah, but um, yeah, look, let me know what you thought about the about the video in the in the comments. Um, and you know, if you like the video, give it a like, and if you like the channel, give it a subscribe. Um, and coming up, I will be going to Oz Comic Con. Um, and with that, I'll be shooting a video there, and I will be giving a comparison, or at least my my comparison of Oz Comic Con to Supernova that I attended earlier in the year. But yeah, look, a lot to look forward to. And um, yeah, look, as I said, if you like the video, give it a like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, please leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you. Mm -hmm.